Hello people, welcome to another episode of the Clark Road Podcast. It's been a little while, um, in fact, quite a while, over a month while, um, will it ever be this much of a gap? Um, I don't know, um, in future. But what I can tell you is, um, that, um, I'm back, I'm here, I'm here, and yeah, so, um, you might be like, oh, okay, um, so, let's talk about things, I guess, so it's, I've not uploaded that much videos in that month, because as I said before, I've quit doing daily videos, um, the only problem is, I've only really done one proper video since then. And um, to be fair, the schedule was to be every two weeks. But even that I've not, well, I'm not in schedule for because... I'm also supposed to release the videos a week early to Patreons. Problem is, um, a week early to Patreons is, um, we've been last Thursday. Um, I think this will be releasing on Sunday, but I think I'll go back to the normal schedule. Well, I can say normal schedule Friday. It won't actually be the next episode won't even be Friday. It'll be Tuesday for the one year anniversary of episode two, which is the first official Clyde Road podcast episode. Um, yeah. And I've also just realised I'm an idiot and I haven't updated this. This should be episode 46. You never saw anything. I think it's 46. Um... Yeah, 46. Oops. Pretend you never saw that. Um, but yeah. I guess we should do a little bit of a little video recap. So, plans for videos in future. Sort of plans for videos in future. And it's sort of falling through. After that, my Palmac G5. A year later, this is the proper video. Um, as you might also see, um, I've got my... I am fell out. Um, I've changed my thumbnail style a little bit there. Um, it's not significantly um, different. However, um, as you can see, the text of is all over the place, and I'm not a massive fan of how it's executed there. But I'm really can't, I don't know, I, I feel right. Like the way I had it before was way too boring, which is why I changed it up, but you know, the um, border, the video category marker is still the same thing, um, although I will have to recreate um, them as I've sort of lost the files for them, so um, I don't even know if the triangle's the same size as them. Um, what it's supposed to be. Um, these are two unlisted videos for a friend in my course um, about my 1052 item I'm selling. Well, sort of selling. I don't actually really want to sell it, but um, it's given the opportunity for me to get, get his um, VR headset. And you know what? Sure, I'll take a VR set because it's what I wanted in the first well things I wanted. Um, next thing is, next video is delayed a week plus some other stuff. Um, and it's the channel update that I did just today. Although it'll be yesterday if you're watching this. Well, if you're watching this with, with Patreon, it won't be. Um, I'll, I'll release this episode a day early. For Patreons, as soon as this finishes, it'll be a 
and you know it gets uploaded it'll be up for patreons um but yeah after that um hmm. i'm in late tonight does obs have mvink so i have a feeling it doesn't but yeah it's same software but to be fair it's doing a really good job um yeah so I'll, I'll talk about what I've sort of talked about in the chart update video I've released today. If you're on Patreon or yesterday, if you're not on Patreon. So this video, um, I'm talking about an upcoming video. No, a bit of an up. Did I actually talk about a video? I can't remember. But I'm talking about a video about this phone here that you can barely see, and I don't know. I can do brightness adjustments, um, but yeah, it's a Blue Life Max, a budget phone from 2016. Yeah, it's really not that exciting, but um, it's an alright phone. It's got an unlockable boot road boot loader, thankfully, which is really nice. I find it surprising my dad's sort of the last three Android phones, probably all four of his Android phones, has unlockable bootloaders, which is sort of luck considering, you know, it's not one thing he was considering being buying them. So if I do like um, custom ROM, so this was like an dirt cheap phone. I think it's like 99 quid, so 100 quid when it was new. So it's like really ultra budget phone. Um, oh, apparently the fingerprint scanner doesn't work. You need the knack for sound over Bluetooth. Mm. Okay, it's not quite that simple. Unless it's been updated further from um, yeah, stock ROMs force encrypted and so on. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've only really seen the um, Nugget on Nougat version um, for the Life Max for, in terms of custom ROMs. Um, a bit here's like these horrible copy and paste article things. Not even oh, it says for blue, but no linear charis for blue phones. Yeah, I can pretty much guarantee you that there's not even yeah, look, there's not even blue in this list, which yeah, is a bit of an indication. It's quite surprising blue isn't in here, but you know, um, Razer is in here. Um, it's 21, um, the um, new, ver um, new version, or was it always at 21? And, um, I don't know. What's um, Lineage OS 21 based on? Lineage OS. Okay, it might be new. What's the new choice? 21. Oh, Android 14. Um, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Linear choice. I know. Uh, about. That's not really that useful. Blah, blah. Um. Mm, yeah, it's not that useful, <laughs> their website, if I'm being brutally honest, but, yeah, okay, Lineage OS 21 seems to be Android 14, so, on my main phone, I could put Android 14 on it, I won't put Android 14 on it, though, although I'm considering getting um, Android 11 on my phone, because I'm stuck on Android 9, and um, I mostly just want um, the Google crap, 
gotten from my phone. Stuff. Do I my scroll wheel is making a really sort of horrible clicky noise all of a sudden? Hey, there's a warm button. That's funny. Um, it gets some weird companies you've never heard of, like Nubia. Um, I don't know. Yeah, look at all of these. My dad's phone on here. It's got a Q5 play. Doesn't seem like it. But I know you can put custom ROMs on it. Which is nice. Um, what's this? This is LG. Um, then no woe. Hard kernel. Uh, never heard of them. Google. Um, fair fine. F. X tick the essential which like everyone forgot about people are talking about them and then they died. BQ I've only heard of them because I've they are like quite highly one of their phones is like ranked quite highly in the it's like in the top section but the second highest bit. Yeah the BQ Aquarius X five for um post market OS compatibility thing. Um, apparently it's from 2015. It's the BQ Aquarius X5. No, it's not on here. It might have. I think an old version. Um, might be 32 bit. That might be why. Um, no 64 bit. But um, yeah. Um. Yeah, you got all sorts of stuff out. I thought it'd be able to go switching, but yeah, it's all sorts of stuff on here. Um, hmm. Dave, has there been that much interesting stuff with post market OS? Recently, because um, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least two thirds these are things you don't want like advertising notifications for unimportant events I imagine this is like talk about when like I don't Amazon sending you all about some deals or what recommendations to try out specific features yes it's just annoying I want my app to work or to play of next videos that's also really annoying um, prefer um yeah so integration so services to run proprietary software or provide proprietary software would still be easy to do examples i vote for the say flat pack and flat hubs proprietary i guess it isn't but it is very heavily centralized um so um reliable you know it's big not unstable, big encryption, security, avoid tracking, no vendor locking, um, blah blah, and yeah, reasonable, you know, yeah, so continuing on, um, also, I might notice. Oh, the background looks different, and the simple answers to that is you could probably tell I'm on the iMac, but also, um, um, yeah, my dad decided to move the table this way round because he's bought 
one of the billion sofas in this house back into this room. Um, and uh, yeah, it means this is needs to be moved because there's no longer really space to have it the other way around. Um, yeah, so you can sort of see stuff like my dad's vinyl collection, the good old um, hi-fi system in the middle. Yeah, so you've got like vinyls they could probably recognise some of them. Um, I don't know if you can. Yeah, yeah. They do control Z. No, you cannot do control Z. With oh well, pretty slightly different size now. Wait, but yeah, these are reasonable things. Um, yeah. So one thing that I'm sort of excited for, oh, I did give a hint in video, is my ThinkPad because I ordered um, a ThinkPad T forty forty P. Um, couple of days ago because I ended up getting paid for my job. I got paid quite a bit of money for it, uh, although my dad seems to completely ignore the fact that I'm not getting paid um, for um, man. So I do the maths and see how much I was getting paid. So I was getting paid 384 quid. My dad thought, probably was thinking I was getting paid um, that for a month's worth of work. I do four days a month. That would mean I get paid <laughs> 19 quid an hour. No, I'm not getting paid 19 quid an hour because I'm doing five days a week. No, I'm not doing that. I'm getting paid for like, even what would that be for? Two months worth of work, which it wouldn't be happening. Nine quid an hour, yeah. I'm not getting paid that much, mate. Um... Um, three eight four divided by eleven. Um, not eleven. What's eleven times four? Um, eleven. 11 mm, no, eleven times five. Sorry, fifty-five. Supposedly, yeah. That's more of a reasonable number, but my dad seems to be not getting paid 19 quid an hour or something like that, or, or, or um, yeah, yeah, not 19 quid or half of that, which would be, um, mine's gone blank, 9.6. Yeah, I totally didn't forget how to do some maths. Anyways, um, but yeah, um, so it had an ETA of the 3th until the 4th of April. Just for context, I ordered this um, on the 26th, so it was, actually wasn't as long as it feels a lot longer. Um, yeah, I'm quite impatient. Now my stickers, let's go on my email, I won't put it on screen, I'll do it on my phone for, you know, privacy reasons. Um, where is it, 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 um, don't say repeat stuff like that. Yeah, my stickers, oh, sorry, my stickers, have um, been, um, what's the word, my stickers have um, an ETA of the 2nd, so that's Tuesday, 
until fourth, I think, um, Thursday. And I've ordered various stickers. Shall I spoil the stickers? Might be interested. So, what have I ordered? I've ordered Xenion keyboard sticker. I use Arch. Um, normally on this website shows my deliver uh, my address and stuff. Strawberry collectible. Is this less like a um, shark cart? Which in case you can work out, but yeah, some of these names really aren't descriptive. Um, shark cart is a um, cart like a shopping trolley full of um, blarvies. After that. Mr. Gan is basically the main characters of Has Been Hotel. After that, it's Murder Drones N Simple. Um, yeah. After that, I've got Lenovo, which is the 2015 Lenovo logo, but we have Lenovo. Got iMac G3, which is just a like drawing of an iMac G3 with like hello in like colourful text to affect the colourful thing. It's a tree loader. After that, 21 Pilots logo, the overcompensate logo, so it's sort of got like the flaming background, but it's also got like the black logo thing. After that, this name's a bit overcomplicated for literally what it is. It's the title of this thing is. Icon, Pencil, Drawing, Sketch, Android, Honeycomb, Logo, iOS, Google, Sticker Pack. It's the Android Honeycomb logo. After that, it is the PowerPC logo. Um, after that, it's Lynx Tux combo stickers. It's like two side sizes. It looks like there's four Tux stickers. After that, I've got one that's just called RISEN in all caps. It's the Bison logo. Um, after that, new Firefox 2020 logo. Correction, the logo was introduced in 2019, but it's the current Firefox logo. Um, after that, it's Fever symbol. It's like a really weirdly drawn version, but it was like the only one that was there. Um, there's, next sticker is Fox Powered. Um, it's, it's like a black circle with like a fox tail hanging through. Of that, it's BN Butterfly. It's the brand new um, Eyes album covers Butterfly. Um, after that, it's iPod Classic. It's a drawing of the first gen iPod with some like red earphones and like some music, all notes coming out with like the screen showing like rainbow, which technically doesn't make very much sense because it's a monochrome display. God, that scared me. Um, shush. That, no, you can't really hear it, it seems, but the um, cat was, one of the cats was just meow, meowing really loudly. But yeah, overall this cost me like 26 quid. Um, yeah, what's the most, the I use Arch sticker was the most expensive, but like to be fair, it makes sense because I think it's literally the only sticker where I didn't go small for the size because these stickers seem to be quite big um, for what they are. Like, all of these small stickers are like, all of them I think are either 70 millimeters in one dimension at least. Yeah. So that's why. But um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. So that's hopefully happening next week. I'll do a video on it, of course. Um, yeah. After that, um, God knows what the next video after that will be, but <sighs> no doubt I'll probably be paid. Um, I just want like 
simple calendar, not like a small calendar widget. Um, but yeah. As you can see, it's various things going on. All British summertime is tonight, in fact, it would be. Or last night, you know, if you're watching this, not with Patreon. Um, do I have any plans? Troop in the court? What if that? Give me like a tool tip, you stupid thing. So the scrolling on this is atrocious. Can I just say that? Yeah, it's really not nice to use. But hey, look. November 2024, the 16th of November on a Saturday. Calm down. Cat, what do you want? Mm. It's way better than, like, let's be real, dogs are way better. Um, ugh, cats are way better than dogs. So I got that the wrong way around. Because at least the meow is nowhere near as loud as, you know, dogs barking. I really don't like dogs barking. Um, so, yeah. Um, mm. Also, another thing is I got these IEMs a um, couple of weeks ago. Now, unfortunately, one of the, the cables, the left, uh, no, the right side cable broke. Um, the pins sort of broke off, meaning I can't use the right one. And I've not really been able to solve it, so I'm stuck with this. And annoyingly, last night, I accidentally cut the um, left bit on my earpod. So, with both of these, I'm unable to access both channels. Well, I luckily, this is an accidental stroke of luck, the right one works in my earpods and my IEMs. I mean, technically both work, but it's, you know, the cable bit that's broken off. Um, the, well, the pins. I could do this for an ultimate curse setup. I need to find, like, a splitter or something. But, theoretically, I could use both of these and have, you know, stereo once again. Which is a ridiculous idea, because it's a ridiculous idea. I could probably, like, order, like... A split on like Amazon or something, but I don't really want to do that. I want an eBay or but I don't want to do that because I don't have much money. <laughs> because, um, yeah, I also considered um spending money on um, yeah, I also spent money on a Ryzen 9 CPU, but it basically um backfired because um, like the Ryzen 9 5900X. Um, it backfired because the CPU appeared to be faulty. Well, I've got warranty on there, like I put it from CX, so I've got like two year warranty, thankfully. But um, yeah, um, and also conveniently, Cly PC stops wanting to turn on like the day after, which is truly amazing because it means I'm no longer ever working desktop PC once a, well, I say desktop PC, I've got this iMac, I've got my 2007 iMac, although I did sort of screw up my 2007 iMac, um, in a way, that will be eventually reveal, revealed in the next iMac adventures, uh, which I don't know when that would be happening, to be honest. I wonder if with these pins I can make it so I can have, no, this is a terrible idea what I'm doing, um, I'm trying to think, um, like that, no, like that, oh, 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 
Yes, I have got this working in a terribly ridiculous way. Yeah, my theory is correct. I can I can actually do this in an even more jank way of having the... So, there's two pins on the end of here. And I know, like, one section on this is for, like, left channel. And then one section's for the right channel. And then one's for, like, the microphone. And then one's sort of, like, the extra bit that you're supposed to connect to. So, I know you can do this yeah if i have it sort of in the middle two touching the metal bit i can actually sort of do this which is a bit cursed oh my god this is the most junkiest setup ever Woo! okay also, um, the volume levels are not equal, which I blame, I'm pretty sure it's because the connection is not actually fully connected to my IEMs, um, whilst with this it very much fully is when it works, when it's in the right position. Oh, this is so cursed, um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> this is so evil, evil, evil. Oh, I've just found my genius. <laughs> Surprisingly, with all these things um to talk about, um, I'm still running out of things to say. But yeah, actually, I could describe what happened with the 2007 iMac. So I was re formatting um, part of the drive um, because I wanted to get Calibri iOS up and running. Unfortunately, um, it was not having any, um, it, when I was repartitioning using Dishkey 2 and 2 on l it basically um, removed all the partitions on the boot drive, meaning I had nothing to um, boot to, which was quite ridiculous. Um, oh god, not a 7 zip file. Does newer versions of macOS? Oh, okay, that's cool. Looks like Archive Utility or newer versions of macOS support 7 zip files. That's very nice um, because it means I don't have to install more um, stuff. One thing I didn't really consider thinking about is um, um, being able to put this on my Ventoy drive that I've just done. Is this, what Ventoy drive is this? Um, okay, it's my 128 gig one. You might be like, oh, how can you tell? It's because, oh, that's a bit worrying. That's zero bytes. Ooh, okay, that's corrupted. Yay! Um, but yeah, there you go. Hopefully that works. Um, yeah. Um, whew. I don't know what else to say. Um, but yeah, so I've not even been able to fully recover, it's been quite fiddly, and I've only been able to recover the El Capitan, the Yosemite, and Mavericks installed of macOS. I, I have tried, retried a couple of times, I did do this on my Linux machine, and I can't remember what happened when I tried doing macOS. I think just nothing happened was the simple answer. So I'm sort of in a bit of a dilemma there, especially considering I sort of need the mountain line install back because there are some important files on there. Uh, I do also need to set up a 
proper backup solution as well, quite clearly. Um, what's that rattling noise? I can hear. It's gone now. Uh, I don't know, it was like a weird rattling noise. That I think was coming, was not visible, um, audible, that's the word, in the monitor, my audio monitor, so I don't want to know if that was, but yeah. I wonder if there's hybrid UFI and flash. Sure, I'll, I'll get this one on as well on my Ventor drive. Yeah, so it's a bit annoying that it didn't really work, but. Um, yeah. um, but yeah, um, so that's sort of backfired as well. But hopefully, um, yeah, I should probably also show you the numbers. It's really not that exciting, these numbers. Um, yeah, I've sort of gone a bit downhill this month. To be fair, it actually started relatively well, and then it just sort of went downhill. And mm, I mean, it dipped to 42, which is like a new worst for this year, I think. And then recently, it went down to 26, which is like ridiculous. I wonder if they. I don't know what the worst was in 2023. It's going to be a bit hard to see, to be fair. And there's not really much I can do about this. Though, to be fair, it's probably in like the first half of the year, so. Um, go like, um, well, I'll, I'll do August, although. Um, yeah, if I do this, it'll be a bit more visible. Um, oh, it's still not very visible. I should probably actually take it down to like I think I think July I did quite well in terms of views. So I think maybe that's not an invalid date. You piece of what on earth? No. Oh wait, yeah, it is. It's not thirty one days in. Yeah, it'd be nice if it's sort of I don't. Corrected, just saying. This date picker is so annoying to use, by the way. Um, oh, I think it's a day with 16, no, 15. Yeah, okay. It's still not as worse as some of the days. Oh, 11, I saw 11. Were there any single digit days? Oh, yeah, there was. Wow. Eight. Wow, I did not realise uh, the views in some days were ridiculously um, low. Wow. I'm genuinely surprised. You know, it's all fair. Wait, there was that free? Free! <laughs> oh my god. Sorry about that being loud. But free? Wow. Well and truly well. Yeah, I can hear that rattling noise again. Wow, I think I genuinely don't remember it being that bad. So sort of, yeah, in the first bit, I guess I shouldn't really be complaining that much. But as you can see, it's a very um, noticeable sort of dip in views um, that happens, you know, just sort of after I stopped doing daily videos. And it really shows. Um, but yeah, also that the thumbnail, auto-selected thumbnail on this most recent video is a, a bit of dodgy. So do that, there you go. Also, the picker on mobile um, was like completely balked, the playlist picker. It just wasn't showing up and it was like selecting random playlists on my channel. Um, so annoying when you pick like multiple playlists as well. Instead of just listing the names of playlists, it'll be like playlist and one more or have a more. 
you know, it's not very helpful. No. So, yeah, really useful YouTube, right? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised YouTube's an absolute piece of rubbish. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to really stunned to run out of things to say. So, I think I will end it here. I should probably mention I'll have zero clue what's going to be after the next quiz. I might have, a, you know, this video about this final sort of like weird bonus video because I can't really see me making that much of like a high effort video out of it. So, I might do release that maybe like this week. Um, well, I say this week, technically it'll be next week because it'll be Sunday when you've seen this. But you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And goodbye. <laughs>